let's continue looking at practice test 2 the CSEC um, paper 1 pass paper 1 we are do, we'll just reached question 26 the question here the question here says items 26 to 28 refer to the graph below what is the frequency of the median weight all right let's see what's happening here remember the median is the value that occurs at the center of the distribution after everything is arranged in ascending or descending order if there are, is an even number of them then you'll have two in the middle and you find the average of those two all right now what we want to do is look at this graph all right let me get something in order here first all right so let's look at this chart how many values are here there's one two three four five six seven eight nine of them all right there are nine values so what we have would be how many to the left that's one two three three so far one two three right four four okay so we have four on one side on the left four on the right and one in the middle so this one represents the median now they ask for the frequency frequency means how many times it occurs how frequent it is there so at the top of this chart we go across and we see 12 so 26 this is suggesting that the answer for 26 is 12 um is c 12 right 26 is c now let me get this thing all right so we then move on to 27 question 27 says how many packages were weighed how many packages were weighed let's look at this we have of the 11 point one packages those that weighed 11.1 we have 14 they missed out the numbers between 0 and 4 that's 2 this is 6 halfway between 4 and 8 this is 10 12 to 16 14 there are 14 of these packages you can see obviously a is out because it's more than 9 and it's 14 plus more packages so it can be 14 it's more than 14 is it 66 or is it 92 well you could count these individually you could say this is 2 plus 6 that's 8 plus 8 that's 16 16 and uh, this is 12 16 and 12 16 and 10 is 26 and 2 more 28 28 plus 12 that's 28 38 39 40 40 plus 10 that's 50 plus 454 plus 458 58 and 6 that's 66 good so the answer is 66 well I didn't have to go through all of that counting uh, if I found some way to realize that 92 would be too large let me see something here 
the 10.3 kilogram package there are 10 of them all right and we have nine items here so if i have 10 and 10 and another 10 10 10 if i had this 10 nine times i would reach 90 if i had this 10 nine times i would reach 90 all right and then jack it up a little bit but the thing is these 10 would obviously be too much because of the amount of space left between these points all right you only have a few that are above the 10s so obviously 90 would be too high all right so looking at this it's of definitely 66 that's the answer anyway you take it you're going to see that it's 66 let me erase the rough work and go to to 28 what is the modal weight so remember what mode means it is the value that occurs more often than others all right it occurs more often than others which one of these has the occurs more often than others in other words it has the highest frequency is this here this one has the highest frequency all right 14 everything else is below 14 in terms of frequency now the weight of that is 10.1 so what we have here is 10.1 is a 10.1 there at b so here 20 8 question 28 b 27 we got a 66 which is c all right let's move on to question 29 what's going on here now where's question 29 okay let's erase this question 29 says uh, a rectangular sheet of paper measures to the nearest centimeter 16 by 9 what are the least possible values of its dimensions okay once you remember the rule of rounding off you can do this this is a rectangular sheet of paper we say it measures 16 by 9 uh, to the nearest centimeter the least possible values that means the smallest value that you could have had before you round it off to 9 and then round it off to 16 the smallest value you could have had before running off to 9 would have been 8.5 and before running off to 16 you would have had 15.5 if it was 15.4 you would round that down back to 15 if you had 15.49 you would round back down to 15 but once it touches 15.5 you round up to 16 same argument applies to the 8.5 and the 9 8.4 would be rounded down to 8 but once it touches 8.5 you round up to 9 so the least dimensions would be 8.5 by 15.5 so let's see 8.5 by 15.5 it seems as if c is the correct answer here for 29c right so it's c all right 29 let's look at question 30. question 30. let me erase these rough work first and we go to question 30 in the figure a b so that's a b this is parallel to cd 
that's what these two vertical lines mean it's parallel to they run in the same direction or it could be opposite direction but directly opposite direction but these two arrows shows that these two lines are running in the same direction right angle BAD is 32 BAD is 32 degrees what is angle APC they want APC so the angle A P C would be this angle A P C let's see something here this is 32 and since these are it's a circle alright see P at the center this would be 32 as well now what is this angle well you can see that if you add this 32 and this 32 you get 64 plus this angle plus the angle at P is uh, 180 so if you say P well it will be APC APC is 180 minus 64 what do you get for that 180 minus 64 let me drop 60 for me so I have 120 minus 4 I get 116 this is 116 and then remember all of this angle is on a straight line so it's 180 so 180 minus 116 okay you get 64 all right because uh, this is 7 minus 164 so it will be 64 B so question 30 says B all right question 30 would say B what's going on here all right so i'm going to take a break from this and continue later on with more questions